friends, it's Lisa, owner of Brintage, an online reselling business specializing in new used and vintage items. In this video, I'm going to share with you the things I found from my most recent trip to Goodwill. This was my largest haul most recently. I picked up 24 items. All right, let's get started. I'll show you what I found. This is the most expensive item that I purchased this trip. It was $14.99, blue tag. It is an Athleta puffer coat size large it has that kind of almost like trash bag look you know kind of looks like a garbage bag it has this interesting like double sleeve it has pockets on the front here this is like a it's like sewn together oh ah it has snap pockets so there's like a little magnetic snap here It's a little bit worn on the inside. There's some pilling to the lining, but otherwise it's in really good condition. So I was happy to find that. Here's a new with tag item that I found. I typically don't pick up Lucky Brand items. This one's Lucky Brand, extra small. It does have the tag still attached. The retail sale price was $79.50. Red tag items this week were 50% off. So I did purchase a lot of red tag items. This one was $15, so $7.50. They really marked this one up quite a bit. It's not surprised that nobody paid $15 for it. So this is just a long sleeve tiered shirt, blouse with bell sleeves and a tie top. I may not get a super high profit margin on this item. Another red tag, this one was $4.99 red tag, $2.49. The brand is Horny Toad, size small, and it's just a kind of mini knee length skirt, A-line, gray stretch jersey material. This is in really good condition. Another $3.99 red tag. So this one was $1.99. This is Athleta or Athleta, Athleta <laughs> size small. This is kind of wrinkled up, hard to see. It has it here. It's a workout tank. It has the like padded insert and it's in good pre-owned condition. Hoping to get maybe $22 or so. This one was $9.99. I'm surprised that it was marked up so high. Since it was $9.99, it was $4.99 because it was red tag. This is cabby size two. It is a black and gray, kind of longer length, um, maybe knee length or a little longer pencil skirt. It has a zipper in the back. Really good condition. Another red tag item. This was $7.99 red tag, so $3.99. These are Bailey 44, size large. Plaid pull-on pants. Sort of a, an almost, not flared, not really boot cut either, just, I don't know. I'll have to look up to see what this is. Maybe like a kick crop. I don't know. Um, they're more... They're more of like a crop ankle length pant and they do have this zipper on the back no pockets on the back and the print is like a gray with blue stripes or i guess not stripes plaid here's another cabby item this one was also 9.99 so it looks like they're pricing cabby at 9.99 so 4.99 for this one it's a size small and this is a gray kind of layered drape tank. It's more of a tunic length, so it would look really cute with leggings. Here's another workout tank. This one was $6.99, red tag, so $3.49. This one is Prana, size small. And it is kind of a green, I don't know if that's space dye or it's not really stripe. Probably space dye. I don't know. Has this detail on the back. This one does have that same kind of insert, but there's no pads on this one like there is on the other one. Another Athleta. There was a lot of Athleta stuff this time that I purchased. So this was blue tag. The stuff that was just being put out on the rack um, was all blue tag. So this one just got put out fairly recently. This one was $4.99, size two. So you can tell this is, hasn't been washed and worn very many times because there's no cracking in this label. 
So this is a skirt, has these little pockets on the back. It does have shorts underneath, so I guess it's not a skirt, I guess it's more like a skirt. And the material on this feels almost like swimsuit material, so I feel like this, this could be used um, as a swimsuit bottom or just like for working out or just wearing around in the summer. Here's another blue tag item. This was $6.99. These are Eileen Fisher size medium pull-on pants. So this time there were so many new things put out at this Goodwill that were Eileen Fisher and most of them were like $20, $40 for a pair of pants. So definitely the whoever's doing the pricing at this Goodwill has discovered that Eileen Fisher is a little bit more valuable than they originally thought. This one must have just fallen through the cracks because it was just marked $6.99. So I did grab this one, but the rest of them, I don't even know if I'm going to buy them when they're 50% off. It's just like to pay $10 or $20 for a pair of pants that, you know, I might make, I might sell them for $20 or $30. That's not really going to work out very well. So, but I did grab these. There's no pockets on the back of these ones either. I don't really like pants or things with pockets on the back. These are more of just a wide leg um, or straight leg pant. The material is really different on these. They're super stretchy. You can see that. They are a viscose nylon and spandex blend. This is another brand I don't always pick up. It's Bowden. It was $7.99 though, red tag, so $3.99. So I did grab this one this time. I mean, I checked comps on it and they were decent. They were selling, this top was selling. So this is a US size eight, it's a Bowden label. And it's a V-neck, reddish orange ruffle top. Really nice condition. I just bought a steamer on Amazon recently too, so when I go to take pictures or when I go to package this up for selling, then I will definitely run it over with the steamer because this material is kind of wrinkly. Okay, here's another interesting one. This was $7.99 red tag, so $3.99. I did not recognize this brand, but the material felt nice to me. And then also it looked like an interesting shape. So I looked it up, it's called Kalia or Kalia by Carrie Underwood. This is a size small. The tag is kind of this like see-through plastic material. The comps were good, so I did pick this one up. It is a long sleeve. It has these super large cuffs, thumb holes, which are great. And on the left sleeve, it has this little detail, metallic, metal detail. So it's a wrap top and there are snaps inside that you can kind of, um, you can wrap the edges in and snap them inside. It's hard to show right now. Maybe I should do one of those like try on hauls. I could put this stuff on and then show you what it actually looks like. That might be a better idea than trying to show you this way. As I said, the material, I felt like the material was higher quality. It's a cotton modal nylon and then 3% cashmere, so kind of medium weight, tight knit material. Here's another cabbie top that I picked up. This one was $7.99, not $9.99, $7.99, red tag. So $3.99, here's the label. It is a long sleeve black wrap top with a V-neck. Okay, so this one was kind of a surprisingly good find. It was all, another blue tag, $4.99, so Put out recently. This is another occasion where the material just felt super nice to me, so I looked the brand up. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, maybe now, N-A-U, now, size small. This is 100% merino wool, and for being wool and being pre-owned, it's really nice. There's almost no pilling on this. So just a ribbed lightweight sweater, this kind of cool like square neckline. Decent length, it doesn't look too short. This one, I just really liked the shape of it. I don't, and maybe I should just keep it for myself. I didn't really find very good comps on it, but I feel like if I put the right keywords, um, that maybe somebody would be 
interested in it. It was $6.99 red tag, so $3.49. The brand is Tracix. Tracix. Um, has a wide neck, dolman sleeves, really wide boxy shape, and then it has this asymmetric hemline here. So I just thought that was cool. And maybe if I put in the keywords like asymmetric, oversized fit, boxy, apocalyptic, just some things that will make it stand out, especially on eBay, that seems to help. This one was $3.99, so $1.99. The brand is Nougat London, and it doesn't have the size tag up at the top. The size is actually on the inside of this one with the fabric content, so it's a size two. It's a size two. It says the shell is 95% viscose, 5% elastane, and the trim is 100% silk. I'm assuming that the trim is this, all of the piece here in the front that's kind of more shiny, and then the back would be the viscose and elastane. It was marked, interestingly, it was marked size large on the Goodwill tag, but size two is definitely not a size large. I took a picture of this skirt the last time I was in Goodwill because I wanted to get it if red was the next color, which I was sure that it was, and it was. So it was $6.99, $3.49. It is J. Jill, the Love Linen line, and it's a large petite white linen skirt, longer length, has pockets here. So just a really good piece. I was happy to, I was happy that this was still there for me to get at 50% off. Okay, I picked up another athletic tank top. This one was $6.99, red tag, so $3.49. It's a size extra large. The brand is Zella. Zella doesn't always do very well, um, but I did pick this piece up because it was a larger size, and I don't have a lot of larger size items in my Poshmark closet or on eBay or Mercari. And this workout tank is in good condition. Having a hard time holding all these straps. It does have that padded lining in the inside. Just grab that. I'll do this one next because it's also kind of purple colored. And this one was $7.99 red tag, so $3.99. It is Marmot, size extra small. It has this Marmot logo on the back, and then right here, long sleeve, zip up, like running jacket or athletic workout jacket, thumb holes, it's the back, really stretchy material. I think it said it was polyester. The only thing that I didn't like about this was that it's covered in like dog hair, cat hair or something inside. So I'm really gonna have to do a good job of lint rolling and washing this one before I list it, before I put it away and then checking it again before I ship it out just to make sure it's really clean. This is the last cabbie item I got. Hopefully I'll do well with these cabbie purchases. I guess this is the old cabby label, but I, when I checked comps on these specific items, they seem to do okay. So this one is cabby, size extra small, white leopard print, wrap top, it has balloon sleeves, like button detail on the cuff, tie top. It has a snap here in the center where you're snap closure Back. there's another sweater that was red tag this one was 12.99 so again a little higher than some of the other ones that i had purchased so i paid six dollars and 49 cents for it the brand is prana it's a size small just a um, kind of oversized open knit sweater the color is um kind of like a muted coral it looks a little brighter here than it does in real life <laughs> ribbed sleeves just the back has another has an extra little like line down the back detail 
pretty good on pilling where there's not a lot. So that one will do all right, I think. At the Goodwill that I shop at, they did a bunch of rearranging, so racks got moved around. Um, it actually is a lot nicer because things are spaced out a little bit better. Um, you don't have to like flip so closely through the racks to look at things, especially with the athletic wear. So they definitely made a lot of room. It looks like they're gonna be putting more athletic wear out possibly in the coming days or weeks or however often. <laughs> so I grabbed these leggings. They're a Puma size small. I don't get Puma all the time, but I checked the comps and they were okay. And these were also in really good condition and the style is um, a little more current. So $7.99 red tag, so $3.99. They've got kind of like a medium high waist, Puma detail there. They have that like moto look on the leg and then a mesh piece on the calf. And they're the full length. I feel like the three quarter length or shorter length leggings just don't sell as well as the full length leggings. That's just my experience though. Okay, so second to last item. This one was $9.99 red tag, so $4.99. This is another Zella item, size small. Again, I only picked this up because I checked the comps and they looked good. Long sleeve, a little bit of wear, but not too bad, pretty good. Wrap sweater. Kind of like has a crossover thing here in the front. So just something to like throw over a tank top. Really comfortable feeling material. And it's kind of like a heathered pink or heathered like rose color. I might be able to look this one up and find out what the manufacturer color is. That might be helpful. So as I said, that was the second to last item. The very last item that I found is this jacket. And I, I really love this jacket, so I'm probably going to keep it. It is Joseph Ribkoff, and I saw it on the hanger. I'm like, oh, it's 50% off. And I was like, Joseph Ribkoff, that sounds familiar. So I looked it up, and this um, jacket, I think I could probably sell it for like $50 at least. This was $15 red tag, so $7.50. It's like a black and yellow and gray knit and it has this like kind of metallic detail which i don't love but it's there and this high neck of course so great love high neck stuff and it also has this like asymmetric zip kind of off to the side and these snaps here so this unsnaps you can wear it kind of like open there's another snap here you can wear it like all the way open and then the zipper you know zips open like that so I just really love this and also has pockets. Oh, and then it has this zipper detail. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. That really helps. You can like this video down below, leave me a comment. All of that helps with the YouTube algorithms and with my goal to eventually have this channel monetized. But I first, of course, need to have 1000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, I would really be so thankful if you did. All right, thanks for watching.